Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn about what are story sums. Learning about story sums is one of the learning outcome in class 2 under the number concepts. Let us go into the details of this video now to know what are story sums. Story sums are also called as word problems or statement problems. Word problems are a way to connect the real life and maths. In general, when a problem is given in the form of numerical numbers and mathematical operations, children find it easy to solve it. But when the same sum is given in the form of word problems, they find it difficult to comprehend and solve the problem. My intent in this video is to make word problems easily understandable for the children. Let us see that now. Take a simple example like this. Ram lives in house number 152. Sham lives in the house next to Ram. What is the house number of Sham? First, when a word problem is given, you should look out for the keyword. The keyword in this sum is the word next. We know that Ram lives in the house number 152. So first, take and write down the statements that are given in the word problem. House number of Ram is 152. The next information given is Sham's house is next to Ram's house. So, we have to find the number next to 152 to know the house number of Shyam. So, what is the number which is next to 152? The after number of 152 is 153. So, the answer is house number of Shyam is 153. When the same sum is given as write the after number of 152, Children will be able to write it down easily. But when you give it in the form of a statement problem, it is important for the child to develop the skill to comprehend the problem given, write down the information given and then solve and write down the answer. This is a very simple statement problem because we are in class 2 now. But as the child moves into higher classes, the statement problems will become more complex. So it is very important for us to train the children to understand statement problems from very lower classes. Let us move on to the next example. The tree in the park is 590 years old. How old was the tree last year? First, identify the keyword in the word problem. The keyword in this problem is last, which means previous. So, we'll have to find out the previous number of 590. Now let us write down the statements given in the word problem. The tree is 590 years old. So the previous number of 590 is 589. So the answer for this question will be the tree was 589 years old last year. Now let us move on to the next example which is a little bit more complex. Five children in a class collected marbles. Arun 362, Bala 817, Chitra 299, Dennis 500 and Hari 472. Who collected the most number of marbles and who collected the least? The first step is to identify the keywords given in the word problem. The keywords in this problem are most and least, which means we will have to find out the child who has collected the greatest number of marbles and also find out the child who has collected the smallest count of marbles. After identifying the keywords, next write down the statements given to us in the word problem. 
we have the information about marbles collected by children. Arun 362, Bala 870, Chitra 299, Dennis 500 and Hari 472. Now you will have to find the greatest number among the five given numbers. To find the greatest number, we will have to first look out for the hundreds place because we have three digit number over here. In the hundreds place we have 3, 8, 2, 5 and 4 of which 8 is the greatest number. So with that we can conclude 817 is the greatest number. Next to find out who has collected the least number of marbles, we have to find out the smallest number. So once again look at the hundreds place. So where we have 3, 2, 5 and 4 among which 2 is the smallest number. With that we can conclude 299 is the smallest count. So now we will have to write down the answer in the form of statements. Bala collected the most number of marbles. So this is the answer for your first question. And who collected the least number of marbles? Chitra collected the least number of marbles. Hope it is clear how to comprehend a word problem, identify the keywords, write down the information that is given and then solve the word problem. We are going to do many more such interesting problems so stay with me till the end of this video. Before that, if you like the quality of my video, please do click the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button and choose the all option to get regular notifications of all updates that I make in my channel. Let us move on to the next example now. Asha has 10 less than 750 story books in her library. How many books did Asha have originally? This is the first part of your question. What is the keyword in this question? 10 less than. And we have a second part of the question which says she buys 10 more books from the exhibition. How many books does she have now? And what is the keyword in this part of the statement? 10 more is the keyword in this part of the question. So now after you identify the keyword, the next step is to write the available information which we have in the word problem. We know that number of books Asha has in her library is 10 less than 750. This is given in the sum. So we will have to find out 10 less than 750. To find out 10 less than, we know that we will have to look at the tens place and subtract 1 from that value. So in tens place we have 5. So subtracting 1 from 5, you will get 740. 10 less than 750 is 740. So this is the answer to your first question. So number of books Asha has in her library originally is 740 books. Now let us move on to the next part of the question. She buys 10 more books from the exhibition. So write down that information. Asha bought 10 more books from the exhibition. So now you will have to find out 10 more than 740 which is the original number of books in a library. So find out 10 more than a given number. We will have to look at the tens place. The ones place there will be no change. So look at the tens place and add 1 to it. So we have 4 in the tens place. To find out 10 more than this we will have to add 1 to the number in the tens place. So the answer will be 750. So 10 more than 740 is 750. So the answer to the second part of your question is so Asha now has 750 books in her library. Let us move on to the next question now. The total marks scored by 5 children in a class out of 200 is given below. Arrange their marks in descending order to show their rank. So here we have the marks of 5 children out of 200. Ken 184, Ben 169. John 120, Sam 199 and Tom has scored 173. In this question we are linking two concepts. 
One is that we'll have to arrange their marks in descending order. So first you'll have to compare the numbers and arrange the numbers in descending order. And the next one is to show their rank, we'll have to use the concept of ordinal numbers, which is first, second, third, fourth and fifth. So first, let us put them in the form of a table. Arranging the marks in descending order means arranging it from big to small. So among these five numbers, we'll have to identify the biggest number. So first look at the hundreds place as we have three digit numbers. In the hundreds place, all the numbers have one. So as per rule, next we'll have to move on to the tens place for comparison. In the tens place, we have eight, six, two, nine and seven, among which nine is the biggest number. With that, we can say that Sam, who has scored 199, has scored the highest mark and he stands in the first position. So now you can strike out Sam from the comparison. Now we'll have to compare the remaining four numbers to identify the number which is smaller than 199. So next we have 8, 6, 2 and 7 for comparison of which 184 is the next smallest number. So 184 scored by Ken stands in the second position. Next we'll have to find out the next smallest number and in 169, 120 and 173, 173 is a number which is smaller than 184 and bigger than the other two numbers. So Tom who has scored 173 ranks in the third position. So now strike off Tom from the comparison. So in the remaining two students, Ben and John, we have Ben with 169 standing in the fourth position. So now strike out Ben and the last number we have is 120 scored by John. So John stands in the fifth position. So finally strike out John. So if you see the answer, you can notice that the numbers are arranged in descending order and the student who has scored the highest mark gets the first rank and the remaining children stands in the second, third, fourth and fifth position. Hope it was interesting to do this kind of a word problem. Let us do one more last example. In a class, there are 18 boys and 23 girls. Are there even or odd number of boys in the class? Are there even or odd number of girls in the class? These are the questions that you'll have to answer. So before that, you'll have to write down the information that is given to us. Number of boys in the class is equal to 18. We know that even numbers have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in their ones place. So here we have 8 in the ones place. So the answer to the first question will be there are even number of boys in the class. Write down the next information that we have from the problem. Number of girls in the class is equal to 23. And we know that numbers with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 in the ones place are called odd numbers. So 23 is an odd number. So the answer to the next question is there are odd number of girls in the class. We can add one more question to this problem. Write the next even number after 18. What is the even number after 18? The answer is 20. Similarly, write the next odd number after 23. The odd number after 23 is 25. The learning outcomes under class 2 in number concepts are 100 to 200 numbers, 200 to 1000 numbers, place value concept for these numbers, before, after and between numbers, comparing and arranging numbers, odd and even numbers and ordinal numbers. We can frame different types of statement problems for each of these learning outcomes in class 2 for which some examples we saw in this video. And dear viewers, I have dealt with each of these learning outcomes separately in separate videos. Link to related videos are given below in the description box. If you like the content of my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and do provide your valuable feedback. Thank you for watching. See you again.